Hey guys, it's Amber, and for this video, I'm going to do things a little bit differently, and I'm going to kind of explain my thought process for how I organize photos in a single day. So right here, you can see, if I'm jumping right in, that I have a 12 by 12 inch, 6, 4 by 6, 6 pocket vertical page protector. And I've used this already in the album before, but in this instance, I'm only cutting off one row, and I'm going to be creating a flip out so that I can include several vertical photos together here. I could put like two of these back to back, but it's kind of more fun to create something a little bit more interactive. So what I'm doing here is I trimmed it off kind of wider, folded it, and then realized that it was gonna block the holes because it had a little bit more along the edge than I wanted. So I had to kind of retrim again. And what I'm doing here is just trying to figure out based on how this will open, which photos you'll see and when. So kind of which photos are more important to me to be on the outside instead of on the inside. So I kind of go back and forth a little bit and I do end up skipping most of this. You don't need to see my entire like rearranging. But um, one thing when photos are, f like when a page protector is folded, is it feels like it's always a little bit tighter. And when you print from home, the photos were a little bit too wide. So I kind of just had kept having to trim them down until the fold would lay completely flat. It just seems like they need to be a little bit skinnier than normal so that it will lay, s lay smooth. So for this layout, I'm starting with a 6x12 like day opener. Um, pattern paper which is going to change after this video is over um, and then I have a 6x12 photo and then I kind of have an intro page to the fact that we're in San Francisco now I'm going to be including some pictures we went to the Golden Gate Bridge first and then Lombard Street but the way my photos are going to be laying out I only have like two photos that I really felt I needed to include so I just decided to put them right on the first page and then I have several pages in a row of photos from the Golden Gate Bridge. Like, I was trying not to be too repetitive, but it was a kind of a big thing. And I was really looking forward to going and seeing it. It was my first time in San Francisco. I was there with my best friend. And I just really wanted to use quite a few of my favorite photos because they were all taken from different perspectives like walking to it us in front of it my friend and her husband um you know it just it was kind of a meaningful experience and it was really cool so right now i'm kind of considering a few embellishments i pulled that explore card out which i believe is from like citrus twist kits maybe uh I, I'm not 100% sure, but it says explore and has a little bit of writing on the left-hand side going vertically, which is fun. And then I had also pulled out and tucked in a clear globe from the 2020 kit and a sticker to consider using on the left side. And like I said, I'm just kind of arranging my photos, getting them into place here, seeing where exactly I want the flip out to be. realizing I still need to trim yet a little bit more off the photos so that it will lay flatter. And then once it's also compressed in the book, it will get better as well. So those are all the photos that I had already planned out. And I still have a few more like detail shots here of so you can see I'm just kind of bouncing back and forth trying to figure out how, what flows the best, what makes the most sense, what looks good. And uh, I'm, I'm also just looking for like balance as well. So I'm keeping my page protector stored in the album. So I'm just grabbing a new protector for this layout. And once again, just kind of considering my flow here. And then I have jumped now to some photos later in the evening where we went to Pier 39 and saw the sea lions, where we stopped and had dinner. 
I realized that there was one photo that I hadn't trimmed and I had accidentally left to the side. So I got that trimmed out. It was really fun. Uh, those sourdough breads are koalas and like an alligator. It was really, really cool actually. And then we went to Ghirardelli for dessert. So just including pictures from dinner and dessert and that will be the end of this day's layouts and the next video will have a little bit more of a peek into my embellishment selection process. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.